back to my channel. It's Viva La Pink Posh. I'm on my camera right now, my phone camera, because I was just recording and taking pictures for hitting 800K on TikTok. I'm doing a huge giveaway. So if you guys are interested, you can head over to my TikTok and enter the giveaway. But today's video is actually going to be another business video helping you guys grow and excel your online businesses. So as you guys can see by the title of the video, today's video is going to be about shipping with Shopify. I'm literally going to do the whole walkthrough with you guys, well, for you guys on camera, showing you guys how to set up your Shopify shipping in your store. So let's get on to the screen recording. I only came on here to show my face just to do the intro and the outro. But other than that, this is literally a screen recording and a walkthrough. So get your pen and paper or your mindset ready and let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Viva La Pink Posh. So as you guys can see by the title of today's video, we are going to be doing yet another business video to help you guys grow and excel your online businesses. So today's video is going to be about shipping. So for starters, when it comes to shipping, you're actually going to start off on your products because this is what matters. Like you have to weigh your products so that shipping is calculated the correct way. So I just have a template, like a bogus website that I just created for the purpose of this video. So I just made a bogus lip gloss, pink posh gloss. This is not even a real website. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes only. So this would be your website. You would price your items, description, picture, do everything accordingly. And then you would stroll down. Of course, guys, make sure you have charge tax selected. Okay, so then you would stroll down to where it says shipping. So this video is about shipping. So we are going to be talking about shipping. So what you want to do is where it says wait here. It says use to calculate shipping rates at checkout and label prices during fulfillment. So you are going to weigh the product. If this product was a lip gloss, I would put it on a scale. You can use pounds, ounces, kilograms, or grams. You would weigh it and then you would put the weight of that product by itself in this description right here. So if it was not pounds and it was ounces and like say it was, I don't know, 80 ounces. So you put 80 ounces in there. And then that is the first step of calculating your shipping price. Now let's move on to the next step. So now that I got your attention, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free and it supports my channel. It helps me to keep producing these type of videos for young, inspiring entrepreneurs like yourself. So subscribing to this channel is all that I ask and is absolutely free. And I think it's... It's a good exchange here, guys. I'm giving a lot of information and all the ads that you subscribe. So back into the video. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So the next thing we are going to do is go to this link right here that says settings. It's all the way at the bottom. We're going to click that and we are going to go to shipping and delivery. Okay, so once we get to the shipping and delivery page, we are going to go to create new profile. This is going to be create a new shipping profile, um, create shipping zone, and we are going to put a zone name. Let's put USA because that's what this one is going to be for. The entire United States, 62 states. So once that is done, you're going to see where it says no rates. Customers in this zone won't be able to complete checkout. So then we are going to go to add rate. And you have the choice to set up your own rates, which is going to be a flat rate that you charge everybody. Or you have the choice to use carrier or the app to calculate rates, which is what I normally use because their pricing is pretty accurate. So we are going to choose USPS because like that's literally like the default shipping and a lot of my packages are small and this is the most affordable shipping. So I'm going to select, these are all those, like these are all the options that you have for shipping. Um, I do do first class mail, first class packaging, and I also do priority mail and also priority mail express. 
Then you have a feature here where you can automatically show new shipping services to customers when they become available. I like to select this because sometimes people want to ship with UPS or like FedEx. So it will show all of the rates. So we are going to go ahead and I don't like, I don't charge handling fees. If you guys want to, you can do that. That is my United States shipping. If you're gonna be shipping international, you're gonna go ahead, create another shipping zone, and you're gonna put in whatever country else you want to ship to. It could be Mexico. And then you just name the zone that state. Mexico, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, wherever else you want to ship to. Or you also have the option of selecting rest of the world. And after you create that profile, you have to add the rate. And like I said, you can create your own flat rate or you can use the carrier app and select that. And this is worldwide services. So you do want to select worldwide. Um, you can choose DHL, UPS, USPS, and of course automatically show the new shipping services. Again, if you want to charge a extra handling fee, you can add that on there. National shipping there. Like this is as easy as, like this is, it won't get any easier than this. Then we're going to just press save. Now we have those two shipping rates here for international, rest of the world. And you can also offer local pickup and local delivery if you would like, because the option is there. So the next thing you want to do is add your packages and this is going to be like the size of your packaging, especially if you're using custom packaging. So you're going to add if it's a box or like a uh, soft package or if you're using bubble mailers, then you're going to add the sizing and the weight and then you're going to weigh the individual box or the mailer by itself and you're going to add that in there and you can add a name like I have mine's named individually like i have different gun i have different boxes for my resin gun so i would put resin gun or lip gloss packaging and have it like that i'm just gonna put some so i'm just gonna type in some random numbers here and random weight just so you guys can have a like idea of how it really would be and then you can also, if you're using like USPS packaging or UPS packaging, they have that option here, which is also cool and makes things easier for you guys. So now I have my shipping box set up here where it says packages, you would do multiple packages if you're using different size envelopes or mailers or whatever you're using, you would put them all there, all their sizes. So as for shipping guys, that is pretty much it. Um, if you're using a regular printer, you have your option here of using regular letter printing. If you're using a thermal printer, you're always going to use a four by six printing and everything is just pretty easy to navigate on Shopify. That's what I love about Shopify. You have to go in every product and enter the product's weight. If you don't enter the weight, then the shipping will not be calculated correctly and somebody is gonna be paying more. Either it's you or the person who is purchasing from you. So just make sure you're weighing all of your products and yeah that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys have any other videos that you need to see how to use shopify how to use wix please let me know and i'll be happy to make those videos for you guys i am here to help you guys grow and excel your online businesses so until next time guys bye